Hello and welcome to this short training video on QuizCom forms. In this video, we will do an overview of the field level permissions setting page. To access the field level permissions setting page, you simply navigate to the list on which you wish to customize the forms. In our case, this list is called Help Desk. And from the SharePoint ribbon in the list category, we have an icon called QuizCom forms settings. You can simply click on the drop down and field level permissions is the first option. This page allows you to create custom business rules on who can see or edit what fields. When creating a rule, the first thing we have to do is selecting the field on which we want to apply our new rule on. For example, let's create a rule on the issue status. If you want to select multiple fields, you can use the control or shift key. The behavior is the same as when you are selecting files in Windows Explorer. After I choose the field I want to apply a rule on, I need to select the action I want to apply to that field. Do I want to show the issue status, hide it, or disable it on a certain condition? In my case, let's say I want to hide the field if the condition isn't met. So I will select hide. If we select either hide or disable, a checkbox will appear to the right asking if workflows are allowed to update hidden or disabled fields. Depending on your business needs and requirements, you might want to allow workflows to update fields even if they are hidden or disabled, since workflows are automated and have been pre-programmed for a certain task. In the Users and Groups category, we can specify if we apply this rule to everyone or only to certain users or to a whole SharePoint group. If we leave this field blank, the rule will be applied to everyone. Afterwards, we can select on which forms we want to apply the rule on. There are three forms in SharePoint. The new item form that you see when you create a new list item, the edit item form that you see when you edit an existing item, and the view item form when you view an item. In my case, I want to hide the field from the new and edit item form, so I will uncheck the view item form checkbox since I don't want my rule to apply to this one. Afterwards, we have the conditions section where we select when we want our rule to happen. So this is where we actually enter our business logic. We can create both static rules, such as always hide a column for a certain SharePoint group, or dynamic rules, such as hide the status field unless the assigned to field is equal to the current user. In our next two videos, we'll dig deeper on how to create rules, both static and dynamic, so I will not cover how to create them here. Lastly, we have the support client side validation, which we can specify if we want conditions to be checked live during item edit, or do you want them to be checked before the form logs. We will also cover this setting in more detail in a future video. This is it for the overview of the field level permission setting page. In the next videos, we will learn how to create both a static and a dynamic rule and apply it to our field.